Now, it's time to meet Slingshot Stig, pages 54 and 55. Slingshot Stig product review. Targets tested by Slingshot Stig. It's time to meet Slingshot Stig. Some say that he doesn't understand supermarkets and sees only in black and white. Whether shooting at targets for you is about practice to win trophies at tournaments or else about getting good enough to take game humanely, targets and practice are vital to us all. We all need targets to shoot at to get better at shooting and for sheer fun. I think our shooting sport is the most fun of all, but I am biased. For some, a catch box is boring as hell. For others, trying to splat a small disc no wider than a big coin at nearly 40 feet, fully 50 times in a row, is a mild obsession. For yet more people, it has to be destroying a tin can. But is a nicely mounted paper target that you use just once and make holes in the ultimate satisfaction? After all, you can keep and even frame your successes. Or is it about the sheer delight of hitting and knocking down the little steel ducks in a row? Maybe you have a bit of space you have permission to shoot at and are allowed to bolt some spinners on trees around a mooch so you can build your own hunters and field targets course. Or perhaps it is the childish pleasure of the ridiculously loud bang of a firebird exploding target or the chance of hearing the precision crack of a brand new Armex barrage board fire. I swear firebirds bang louder with a damn great UHC steel ball that will not deform them with an air gun lead pellet. The barrage board looks great fun, though, and the balls are tiny but scary potent looking and explode with satisfying brief intensity. In any case, we need an utter crack shot to do the testing. A shot so good that he can hit, that he can hit anything three times in a row. Once is good, twice is impressive, but thrice is when it is getting a bit close to awesome. And that means handing the catapult over to our tame marksman, a creature of the woods and hedgerows. He eats meat, mostly. He sleeps in a bed of bracken and drinks by licking the dew from plants. Some say that he bathes his balls in oil as he sleeps so as to keep them from going rusty. All we know is he slingshot Stig. How we scored them. Out of ten, half points are allowed. Fun factor. Is it a laugh? Is it a challenge? Does it spin, ping, smash or explode? Your ability made to last. Will it put up with our reign of steel hell? Disposable, snappy or single banger? Value for money. Is it a good spend for your catapult pound slash slingshot dollar, all things considered? Features. Does it just spin or sound? Does it knock down and stand back up? Or is it a double-ended spinner? Hunt realism. Does it emulate our hunting experience in any way? Size, shape, flapping, moving, flying. Overall, out of ten. In decimals, SMK, spin targets. Magpie, rat, pigeon, twin disc, spinner, 5.99, 8.99 and 14.99. So there's the magpie, there's the rat, and then there's the uh, pigeon, which is a twin disc. Fun factor, eight. As much fun as spinners get, plus a serious ding sound when hit. Durability, nine. These may get dented to hell and need new stickers, but they will last. Value for money, ten. Made with thick materials and good axles. Top value for your catapult quid. Features, seven. They spin, they go ding, they come in a few sizes and have cool shapes. Hundredism, nine. Many of these are keen impersonation of British quarry species heads. Overall, 8.6. A solid set of targets, huge affordability, and that crucial hunter appeal. And that earns them enough to score them a uh, Slingshot World endorsement. Meanwhile, there's a video here of Slingshot Stig. Onwards. Dan Kung 304 Stainless Steel Spinners. 100 grams, 3 for them at $4.80 plus any excise duty. Fun factor 8. Cute, portable, and takes satisfying dents. Gives a loud mechanic, metallic ding. Durability 7. Man sent 3. He broke his first 2. He shoots 12mm steels with double bands though. Value for money. 6. The dollar cost is low with Chinese imports but custom fees can kick in. 
Features six. Spins, dents, and chimes pretty well, won't rust, but you can snap them. Hunt realism, six, the size of a pigeon's crop, just a steel disc, it breaking it may be fun too. Overall, 6.6. .6. Told these were flimsy, turned out to be about a big power shooter. Next, classic wasp spinners. 2.95 to 10 pounds a pack, 59 pence each at the cheapest. Fun factor, eight. Always satisfying to see the spinner spin and the whap sound is cool. Durability, 10. With real dedication and a cold day, you can break them eventually. Value for money, 10. Absurdly cheap for a colourful, durable product. Top VFM. Features, 8. Spins, has different colours and sizes, and one is glow-in-the-dark. Hunt realism, 8. The smallest is a perfect pigeon headshot practice target. Overall, 8.8. .8. Brilliant products made just for slingshots. Cool stuff. High enough score to share a Slingshot World Star Bright Award with the Armex Barrage Board. 10 quid for 20 targets, so 50 pence a bang. Fun factor, 10. A bloody hoot, but frustrating for the less than awesome shot. Durability, 5. The board gets wrecked by the balls and once banged, they are done. Value for money, 10. Brilliant for the bonkers intensity and the hugely challenging fun this target is. Features, 9. Shows the damage if you miss the ball. 20 explosions when hit dead on. Hunt realism, 10. If you can hit the ball, now it's going bang, then you are hunt ready. Overall, 8.8, .8, costly for everyday use, and neighbour upset grade, but awesome!